For this entire look, I'm going to be using the Morphe 35B palette. And I'm going to start off with this kind of light peachy shade for the transition. And I'm just applying it with a MAC 217 into the crease and kind of buffing it outwards towards my brow. This shade was a little too light for what I was going for, so I'm just going to go in with the orange shade from the palette, and I'm just going to deepen that crease up and make it a little bit more brighter. Now with this hot pink fuchsia shade from the palette, I'm going in with this Kylie brush, but it's really nothing special. It's just kind of a tapered blending brush, and I like it because you can get right into the crease and it just applies the color and kind of blends it out at the same time so I'm just applying that right underneath the orange shade so we're creating this look of the pink fading into an orange so the eyeshadow look kind of looks a little choppy so I'm going back in with the first kind of light peachy shade and I'm just buffing out the edges so it just looks more smoked out and not like a super harsh line on a pencil brush I'm going in with the deep dark purple shade from the palette and I'm gonna go into the crease with this but kind of right underneath that pink that we just applied and this is going to deepen up the look and just give it a little bit more dimension so in a sense I'm kind of creating a cut crease but that's not the look that we're going for. With the same deep purple shade but this time I'm taking a domed tapered brush. Um, it's by Zoeva. I don't really remember the name right now off the top of my head. But I'm just starting off on the outer corner and I'm packing it on and then I'm blending it into the crease. So now we're going to be creating a half cut crease, so you're going to need concealer, you can use your foundation, you can even use your eyeshadow primer, whatever you want, and a small flat shader brush. I'm used just using this Sigma concealer brush. Um, I like it because it kind of has like a point at the end, so I can really get clo close to the crease. Um, so yeah, I'm just applying this to the inner half of my lid, and... Um, whenever I get to the center where the purple and the concealer are meeting, I just kind of feather that out so it gives it a more gradient look. Now with the orange shade, I'm using a flat shader brush and I'm going to apply this to the center of the lid where the purple and the concealer meet. Honestly, with this palette, you really have to build up the color. So if I were to do it again, I would just use my finger just because you get more color payoff like that. But yeah, you can just keep packing and packing until you get your desired color payoff that you want. I'm using that same brush, but again, I would use my finger if I had to do it again. And I'm just applying this in between the purple and the orange that we just applied. But if I were to do it again, I would definitely would have applied the pink first and then the orange because it kind of made the pink look a little muddy. So make sure you do the pink before the orange if you're recreating this look. And back with that light peachy shade that we applied in the crease, I'm just going to apply this into the inner corner or whatever is left of my lid. For the bottom lash line, I am taking a pencil brush and that deep dark purple and I'm just going to apply it onto my lash line, my bottom lash line. And then we'll blend it out in a second with some other shades. The same pencil brush but with the hot pink shade you can use a different pencil brush if you want but it's not necessary because in the end these colors are going to be getting mixed together so I'm just running this pink shade underneath the purple to smoke it out and kind of diffuse the purple so it's not super like sharp you want it to be smoked out. And to smoke that out even further I'm going in with that super light peach shade and I'm just running this underneath that pink that we just applied. And I'm using this fluffy brush that came with like an Urban Decay palette just because I want it to be more smoked out and using a fluffy brush will do that. Onto the eyelashes you can use any mascara that you want, your favorite mascara, mascara you don't like, it doesn't matter because for this look I'm using false lashes so you want to make sure that you do apply mascara just so 
that later on you can curl your lashes together and the mascara helps your false lashes um, adhere to the natural ones. For the false lashes, I'm using these lashes by Kiss in the style name Midnight. I like them because they're long and wispy but not too dramatic. They're, I feel like they're the perfect lash, especially from drugstore. For the waterline, you can do anything that you want, but I wanted it to be a little different today. So I'm using this liner from NYX. It's their faux white collection or something like that. This is the pinky one, and I like it because it kind of brightens up your eyes and makes your eyes look a little bit bigger, a little bit doll-like, and it's just different than your average black liner. Ooh, for the highlight, I'm using my at the moment favorite highlighter. It's by Fenty Beauty and it's in the shade um, Hustler Baby I'm pretty sure. And so yeah I'm just using the brighter one out of the split duo pan and applying this to my brow bones and into the inner corner of my eyes. And I just paired this look off with a nude glossy lip. I'm using the Dose of Colors no shade lipstick and the over the top gloss i really like the way this paired up with the eyeshadow look because it kind of has like an orangey undertone so yeah this is the finished look guys here's my little narcissist clip i guess so yeah don't forget to like this video if you like this video and comment down below what you want to see next and subscribe if you haven't already and until next time bye